Hello, brothers and sisters in the Lord, and hello to all my friends out there on YouTube. Today, video is going to be very sad, a very, very sad subject. Recently, the state of New York just passed a bill into law that makes it completely acceptable to abort an infant at 24, 25 and 26 weeks of age. This is unacceptable, my friends. This is nothing but murder. And I am going to go over some statistics that may shock you. And this has been going on since the early 1970s. Please pay attention. Every single day, a tragedy greater than September the 11th, 2001 takes place, but hardly anyone is talking about it anymore. On September the 11th, 2001, more than 3,000 Americans lost their lives when three giant steel frame skyscrapers came crumbling down in New York City. That was a great evil of no doubt. But so is the fact that we purposely kill more than 3,000 of our own babies every single day in this country. Let me repeat that. And when I do, let that sink in. We murder 3,000 infants. Not every month. Not every week, every single day in the United States of America, 3,000 abortions are performed every day. The fact that society has generally accepted the practice of abortion does not lessen the evil that we have done one bit. Today, the United States has the highest abortion rate in the entire Western world, and hardly anyone makes a fuss about it anymore. In fact, a lot of Americans laugh about it, and some even do comedy skits about it. We are so casual about abortion these days that one university is actually recruiting teen girls to have abortions for a scientific study that is being conducted. Yes, you heard me correct. A university is actually recruiting teenage girls to have abortions so they can do a scientific study. You did hear me right. But someday... We will be judged for what we have done. We have killed more than 56 million of our own babies. We have killed more than 56 million of our own babies and their blood is crying out for justice. We lost 58,000 brave soldiers in Vietnam over a 10-year period. 58,000. We have killed 56 million of our own. That is unacceptable, America. That is unacceptable. In the end, we will reap what we have sown. The following are 19 statistics about abortion that every American should know. Please, I beg you to share these numbers with every single person that you can or pass this video along. Number one, in a massacre 
that is almost unspeakable. More than 56 million American babies have been murdered in the United States of America since Roe v. Wade was decided in 1973. 56 million. Number two, when you total up all forms of abortion, including those caused by abortion drug RU486, the grand total comes to more than a million abortions performed in the United States every single year. Did you understand what I just said? More than a million abortions are performed in the United States every single year. Number three. The number of American babies killed by abortions each year is roughly equal to the number of the United States military deaths that have occurred in all the wars that the United States has ever been involved in combined. We have killed more in one year than all of the deaths in every conflict that this nation ever entered in combined. Number four, approximately 3,000 Americans lost their lives as a result of the destruction of the World Trade Center towers on 9-11-2001. Every single day, more than 3,000 American babies are killed by abortion. You heard me right. Number five. About one-third of all American women will have had an abortion by the age of 45. Number six. Approximately 47% of the women that get an abortion each year in the United States have also had a previous abortion. That is almost half of the women that get an abortion have already had one previously. Number seven. It has been reported that a staggering 41% of all New York City pregnancies end in abortion. 41% in one city. Number eight, approximately 78% of all abortions in New York City are performed on African American and Hispanic babies. It's a shame, an utter disgrace. Number nine, according to Pastor Childress, approximately 52% of all African American pregnancies now end in abortion. 52% of our small, little, bitty, baby African American infants, 52% are murdered. Number 10. Most women get abortions in the United States claim to be Christian. Protestant women get 42% of all abortions and Catholic women 27% of all abortions. I am Protestant and most of you that watch my videos are as well. We have the highest rate among women that claim to be Christian. 42%. Number 11. About 18% of all abortions in the United States each year are performed on teenagers. 18%. Number 12. One very shocking study found that 86% of all abortions are done for the sake of convenience. 86% are done for convenience. Number 13. According to the Guttmacher Institute, the average cost of a first trimester abortion at the 10-week mark is $451. Number 14. Many insurance companies now prefer abortion 
because the average cost of a vaginal birth with no complication in the United States is now over $9,000. A number 15. During the physical year of 2014, Planned Parenthood snuffed the life out of 327,653 babies. Number 16. Planned Parenthood specifically targets the poor. A staggering 72% of Planned Parenthood's customers have incomes that are either equal to or beneath 150% of the federal poverty level. Number 17. There are 30 Planned Parenthood executives that make more than $200,000 a year. A few of them actually make more than $300,000 a year. It's a very profitable business for these people to kill our children. Number 18. Planned Parenthood gets more than $400 million Dollars from the federal government each year. Four hundred million dollars. Let that sink in. And finally, the last stat, number 19. Overall, there have been well over a billion abortions performed around the world since 1980. A billion. One billion over that number. Every single year, both Democrats, and I have to throw some Republicans in there as well, vote to shower Planned Parenthood with hundreds of millions of dollars. We are told that this must be done because all of the good the organization does. But the truth is that this has been a despicably evil organization from the very beginning. The founder of Planned Parenthood, Margaret Sanger, once said the following, pay attention. The most merciful thing that a family does to one of its infant's members is to kill it. Does that sound good to you? Ladies and gentlemen, I am telling you today to remember each and every one of these statistics that I've given you because they are true. You can look them up for yourself. I do not put any false or fake information out on my channel. These are numbers that are and can be fact-checked. And by all means, go right ahead and do it. Please pass this video on because it needs to be passed on. We finally have a president that is more pro-life than any president we've ever had. We need to take the opportunity now while we have the chance. We need to take it now. God bless each and every one of you. Take care. Bye-bye.